Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and I certainly hope you're having a fine day. Okay, now right off the bat here, if I sound a little owly, a little grumpy, a little crotchety or whatever have you, it's because of a reason here, and it has nothing to do with you because I love you. Okay, but what it does have something to do with is, is it, let me hold this card up here, what I call my teleprompter, and this video is about this miserable program right here called Advanced Mac Cleaner. Now, for some of you folks that are peeking in here, you're probably peeking in here because you've got the adware, the coerceware, the malware that comes along with this Advanced Mac Cleaner. You need to get rid of this crap. These people that write programs like this need to be bull whipped and then they need to be hung. Plain and simple. If nobody else is going to speak up about this kind of nonsense, I sure am. Now look, take a good look at that. Advanced Mac Cleaner. And for you people that are on Macs, you know what I'm talking about. You've probably seen the pop-up right directly on your, your, your desktop and everything. Okay. Now the second part of my, this video here, I'm going to be talking about a way to fix this. Now, you want to look into this program right here called Combo Cleaner. And no, I don't work for these people. Yeah, I don't even know them. I have been in contact with the developers though because it's a very good program. It's available at the Apple Store or you can sideload it from www.combocleaner.com. But you won't be able to rate it at the Apple Store if you sideload it. So, anyway, okay. Now, let me get on to what the problem is here with this Advanced Mac Cleaner. Okay, take a look at these notes. And the reason why I'm doing these notes, ladies and gentlemen, this way on these cards, because it's just a lot easier for me to do it this way instead of bouncing all over my desktop and turning on this and turning on that and confusing the crap out of everybody. Okay, this coerceware, this malware, this coerceware, infectious wear. They really claim that it's not a virus, but it's going to affect the areas that it's going to affect on your computer right on this card right here. Your browsers, i.e. meaning your home page. It's going to redirect your home page. You're going to have to get in there and fix that. You could possibly get an extension in your browsers. And when I say browsers, I'm talking about Safari of uh, uh, Firefox, uh, uh, Google Chrome, and the whole nine yards. So you're going to have to check your extensions and make sure they ain't got no miserable crap in there. And your privacy settings, you're going to have to look in there and make sure you don't have a bunch of websites in there that are invading your privacy, because that's what this thing will do. Okay, and also number two, your activity monitor. This miserable stuff is going to show up in your activity monitor, and the entries in there are going to have to be disabled. You catching on to this? This is a long-winded kind of a deal here. This isn't simply dragging that app to trash and getting rid of it. Okay, number three, your library, and this is the toughest one of all. You're going to have to ID the offending files from this advanced Mac cleaner, courseware, adware, or whatever have you. And then you're going to have to delete those files. But you've got to be very careful because on a Mac, as everybody knows, you know, you get to screwing around with that library there and you could be all kinds of messed up if you, if you delete the wrong files. Okay, in your application folder, you're going to see this doggone miserable thing called Advanced Mac Cleaner dot app. You need to drag that to trash. A lot of people think that's the only thing that they got to do to get rid of this. Nothing further can be from the truth. You've got a lot more work to do, trust me. And your start menu is going to be affected. The AMC is going to show up in there, and you're going to have to disable that because what happens if you go to reboot your Mac, you're going to have this female voice screaming at you, trying to coerce you into buying the program, stating that your Mac is unsafe, and blah, 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 and all this other nonsense. Okay, now I want to make a statement right up the get-go. I've been a Mac user for 10, 11 years. I was one of these kind of guys, just like a lot of people, 
that figured I never needed a viral scanner or any of that kind of stuff, but them days are long gone, ladies and gentlemen. You know, when Stephen Jobs was alive, the Mac OS was a lot more sandbox, a lot more secure, but I really can't say that now because I am running on the very latest version of High Sierra Beta. No kidding. In fact, let me take a real quick peek here and check. To just Let me check right here about this Mac and see where I'm at. Okay, I'm on High Sierra. Let's see. I'm on 10.13.4 Beta, which is the absolute latest release. So I... I've been a beta tester for Apple now for quite, a, for, you know, two or three years, so I'm in a position to know what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, the reason why I brought up this business of this combo cleaner right here is because this is one application that works very, very well, and it will help you do the things I just got done talking about. Okay. But also, while I'm at this, uh, there's lots of tutorials where you can you can get rid of this courseware, adware, whatever have you, manually. And there's lots of tutorials on the internet. All you have to do is just, just Google it and you'll catch on to what I'm talking about. Okay, now getting on to what I want to talk about. See where my mouse is right here, where that big C is? See that right there? This is Combo Cleaner. I highly recommended this program. I bought it yesterday. It cost 44 bucks. A lot of people go, oh my God, I ain't going to spend no 44 bucks for the, for something that you don't need on a Mac. Uh, I got news for you. Macs are not immune anymore to viruses and adware and all that. But let me turn this on. And chances are what it's going to want to do is update. No, okay. Now, let me... Zoom in here a little bit closer so you can get a good look at this because if you don't want to fool around manually doing what I just got done saying, check into this and know I don't work for this outfit. But look at my mouse right here. You got a dashboard there. You've got a disc cleaner, you know, which you'll, you know, okay, some of this stuff on this application is free. Like the disk cleaner, it's it, 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 the f feature is free to use. Let me zoom up so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, finding big files, that's free to use. You know, finding duplicates, that's free to use. But if you want the antivirus and the privacy, the privacy scanner right there and all that, you're going to have to pay and uncripple a program, okay? But I just wanted to bring this to your attention, ladies and gentlemen, that this is a really good program. It helped me get rid of that uh, advanced Mac uh, cleaner dot app because for you people who have been affected, you know what I'm talking about. This thing's going to jump up on when you on a reboot. It's going to jump up on your desktop. It's going to start screaming at you. It's just annoying. And like I say, the people that write this program needs to be they need to be bull whipped and hung. You know. The internet, uh, you know, I love the internet, certain aspects of the internet, but you got too many devious people hanging around on the internet, now, you know, and I ain't one of them. Plain and doggone simple. But I just wrote this, uh, I mean, just uh, making this to show you, you know, what you got going on here. Like I say, you got disk cleaner, you can find big files, which, you know, hey, that's not necessarily... You know, this duplicate thing works pretty good. The antivirus works really, really well. That's what helped me find those library files because you're going to have trouble finding those residue library files if you go to get rid of this thing, okay? And that and this privacy scanner, make sure you're careful with that because what it does is it scans all browsers and it'll, it'll want to delete your history, your bookmarks, and stuff like that. So, you know... I went ahead, I was so mad yesterday, I spent I spent a good six, seven, eight hours trying to get rid of, which I did with the help of this program, Combo Cleaner, I did get rid of, of that coerce wear. And then, of course, right here, you got an uninstaller comes with this, so you can safely uninstall the programs that you don't want on your Mac. So, I just thought I'd throw this file together here real quick, and it... it, it 
I really I realize I didn't offer you a real technical, you know, a real technical uh, summary, if you will, of this Mac, uh, uh, this advanced Mac cleaner fiasco, but this is as good as it get, gets. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day. Safe computing to you, and we'll see you on down the trail. And thanks for watching the video.